Uh, sir, getting back to uh, Paul Manafort uh, and the special counsel's office saying that he's violating the terms of this plea agreement by lying to investigators, would the president recommend that Mr. Manafort begin to cooperate, offer full cooperation to the special counsel's office? Uh, we can only speak to what our role is in that process, and not only has the president, but the entire administration has been fully cooperative with the special counsel's office, providing uh, hours and hours of sit-downs, as well as over four million pages and documents. Uh, we continue to be cooperative, but we also know that there was no collusion, and we're ready for this to wrap up. And if I could Go ask ahead. a follow-up, um, the president doesn't believe uh, the warnings in the climate report. Uh, the president doesn't believe the CIA when it comes to Jamal Khashoggi. The president doesn't believe the That's intelligence community when it comes to Russia meddling. Why doesn't he have faith in his advisors? Uh, that's not true. The president has a great deal of uh, faith in the intelligence community and certainly in the team that he has assembled around him. However, uh, I've addressed the climate report. There's really nothing else to add on that front. Well, to show you, you said that that was not true, that he doesn't believe the CIA. He said uh, the other day, maybe MBS did, maybe he didn't, the crown prince. And we haven't uh, seen definitive uh, evidence come from our intelligence community that ties him directly to that. What we have seen is a number of individuals that we know are tied to that, and those individuals have been sanctioned. The people that we have no doubt about their involvement, we've taken action on. Um, and as he said, we'll see what happens beyond that. And if there's more definitive information, we'll make a decision at that point. Sarah, Roberta, yeah. Sarah the Remain in Mexico meeting that you talked about on Monday, is that happening here or in Mexico? And is the United States offering Mexico any financial assistance to help um, accommodate the migrants? The, uh, seeking asylum who would be staying in Mexico as a result. Um, sorry, on that second question.